Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another episode of History Talk, where we talk about a random historical person, icon, idol, or a group, and I discuss a way that they impact me today. Before we start this episode, I do want to point out uh, that I am doing this particular episode scripted. I don't normally do this, but I do want to see if the quality of this turns out a bit better than normal. I mean, because, especially for something like this, an episode like what I'm going to be talking about today, it took a lot of thought for me for some reason. One way or the other, yeah. Just so you guys know, this is scripted. Uh, they are my thoughts still, though. Regardless of what is written on here, they are still my genuine thoughts, and that's pretty much all that needs to be known, I hope. <laughs> Regardless, let's get started. By now, we all know the term Confucius say, and many historians, or anybody who had a history peak of interest, know of the name Confucius as well. And yet, there are people like me who fell asleep in history, wait. I don't remember writing that. Who the... I... I... I, I who the... just... Uh, whatever. There are several people who did not have an interest in history in general, and probably fell asleep during history class or something like that. There, that sounds better. <laughs> um, <sighs> Confucius was a philosopher, and finding, kind of knowing this information piqued my interest in trying to actually talk about this man in the first place, especially since a lot of my discussion and rant videos on this channel do kind of surround philosophy of some sort. So why not? This man was a well-known philosopher from Chinese history. In fact, he was kind of the man who laid the, the groundwork for Chinese culture. Not just that, he also laid the groundwork for good morals, for morals in general, like good ethics, uh, good work ethics, good school ethics, uh, or good, you know, any kind of ethics, uh, good table manners, um, proper way to treat specific individuals, like all that kind of stuff, just good morals in general. <sighs> this man, he did this in a sense, I'm not going to go too much into detail because there is a, l a lot of them, um, but if it wasn't for him, Master Kong, which is actually what his name translates to in, from Latin, if it wasn't for Master Kong, it morals probably would have taken a very much longer time to actually figure out, you know, what they were. Now, how does this impact me? Gee, I wonder. <laughs> I think anyone who has seen my About Me videos kind of would already know. I mean... For a man who existed way back between 551 and 471 BCE, who uses that term, by the way? BCE? I would have much rather just stuck with BC and AD. It was a lot more convenient and it lasted a lot longer. Why did someone change that? Who, who thought it was a good idea? The teacher just go, I'm offended by AD and BC, can we change it? I honestly have no idea. Someone tell me, if you know in the comments, tell me in the comments below if you know. Anyways, 
Confucius' work happened between those years. And as I said before, the impact on today had everything to do with those good manners. So it's kind of obvious how he would impact me specifically. Especially for those who watch my Abami videos. Throughout my life, manners have kind of adapted to be a very big thing. When I was a kid, it wasn't so much so. But over time, they became more prevalent. And good manners are just like... I mean, every individual has their own version of it. For me, it's one thing. For another person, it could be something entirely different. But the idea of these probably wouldn't exist in the first place. Well, actually, probably would. It's probably an inevitable thing. But they would have taken longer to exist if Confucius hadn't figured it out. I mean, Master Kong, he wasn't, like, he was a teacher as well, so he kind of laid groundwork for ideas, taught everyone who followed, and in the long haul, probably, everyone being, like, a couple individuals, but, I mean, those individuals taught other individuals, but yada, 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 yada. But, regardless, the impact on me specifically, I'm being very wide idea on this kind of thing, so the impact that he had on me specifically that has nothing to do with other individuals because of the whole good moral aspect, well, consider the Good Samaritan. That's something I always have, I like this fuzzy feeling inside in a very, very good way. I always have, always will. It's something that I find joy in. Treating others well, being a good Samaritan, you know, and treating others with respect, especially those who deserve it. I think, in a sense, this is kind of Confucius's studies and his philosophies had a lot, if not everything, to do with this. And it's something that I can't just bypass, especially after doing you know, some of the research that I did to find out more direct details about, which I'm not going to go too much into. Yes, this is a history talk video, but the point of these videos is to consider how the person impacted me. As I was reading these things, yeah, it became more prevalent on how much of a good impact this guy had on anybody, and in turn on me, an even bigger amount. But I don't know. Regardless, I'm going to leave this episode here. I definitely think Confucius had a very big impact on the world, and he definitely had a big one on me. One way or the other. Something stuck in my throat. Hold on. Ugh. Thank you guys for watching this episode of History Talk. How, in what ways would you guys say Confucius impacted you? Let me know in the comments below. Want to check out any of the other episodes that you may have missed, or you might want to see if you did not see them yet, or you just, you know, are interested in the series, if you kind of just first have seen this first time. Click the link on the side of my head, the other side will give you, you know, whatever random video that might pique your interest anyway. Uh, if the other, if the two aren't quite what you're looking for, why not check the channel out itself? I do a lot of live stuff like this, whether it's vlogs, uh, as I said about me, or discussion and rants surrounding, it, it actually surrounds philosophy, it surrounds psychology, random topics of the world, maybe aside from a couple different things. But if you do want to check anything like that out that might pique your interest, also we do comedic gaming, first time reaction gaming, maybe I'll start doing reaction videos in general, outside of livestream when I do that. 
for all that kind of stuff, definitely check out the channel itself. Um, or it'll, it'll be below my it'll be below my channel or in the description below. At this point, I actually am not no longer reading script. But again, if you guys did like the quality of this video a bit more than the norm, or you think it's about the same, just let me know in the comments as well. However, once again, I am going to leave this video here. Push that like button uh, if you did like this video, and consider subscribing to the channel if you have not yet. I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone, and I hope to see all of you in another one. Bye for now, guys.